Hey, what's going on, guys? This your boy, and be welcome to Mike Bree TV Two. In today's video, I want to do something kind of different today. Uh, before we get into the video, I just want to let you guys know, early on today, I've already voted. You know, it's very important, man. We, hey, I want a goddamn change, man. Goddamn, and you know, everybody else want a goddamn change. I think so far, 17 million people. Across the, across the country have already voted in early before <laughs> November 3rd. They saying, fuck that shit. We putting the damn votes in now. They not playing around. I'm not playing around, man. So your boy put on a suit and everything, man. And they gave me a little vote sticker. I put that shit on my suit and everything. But uh, <laughs> uh, it's later on. It's about like right now. It's about to be almost 5 o'clock in the afternoon. And uh, I want to... Do a video, man, because we're still in, you know, it's voting season. Uh, we're still dealing with a stupid-ass president. We're dealing, dealing with a pandemic. And you know what? With pandemics, it always leads to depression. It's it's sadness all around, man. Um, and it's, it's, it's really disastrous. I mean, some people still can't find a damn job. And the reason why I bring it up is I've... Not too long ago, I've watched videos to where people have constantly talked bad about warehouse jobs. And in today's video, I want to actually want to talk about my uh, experience. I know I've mentioned it before, but uh, just in case if you guys don't already know, um, I spent five years working at the state newspaper. It was a warehouse and distribution center. And... Um, Going back to when I was looking at the like different videos on YouTube of warehouse jobs, a lot of people seem to be saying that warehouse jobs are trash and it's not the way to go. For the most part, I kind of disagree with you. I mean, for for the most, my bad. Let me let me rephrase that. For the most part, I agree with you. There are some like, for example, the state newspaper. I'm gonna get into that, <laughs> but for the most part, I feel like warehouse jobs. It depends on what 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 actually position that you get and what placement you're in the warehouse now mainly amazon and them other places sure those warehouse jobs are trash one of the one of the worst warehouse jobs you can ever take and there's also other ones that are <laughs> sometimes slow and you know the company doesn't have any damn money so they, they they just send you home early or they just like hey look we don't have anything or they're not looking to give out any pay raises. But let me tell you something. This is that video, man. I'm going to get into full detail slightly. Ho hopefully, it's not going to be too long of a video. But, guys, um, out of my five years at the state newspaper, I started out in my early 20s. And this is probably one of the, the probably the biggest companies I've ever worked for starting out. Um, before that, I was um, working at the Fort, Fort Jackson Commissary. You know, if you guys are in the, you know, Columbia, South Carolina, if you've heard of Fort Jackson and, and the commissary, it's a uh, it's a grocery store. It's a big little facility. And uh, I worked there for two years. And before that, I worked minimum wage with my dad and my dad's company. My dad has his own business, a hey, black excellence, you know what I mean? But hey, I worked minimum wage. So getting the state newspaper job, I, I, I went through a vocational rehabilitation little agency and that's the only reason why i got that but really that that this this job i'm getting ready to explain wasn't really all that great guys out of my five years i earned nine dollars i was i was getting nine dollars an hour and by the time this year when when, when they announced their bankruptcy i finished earning ten dollars and thirty two cent so that means out of my five years working there nine dollars a year passed on uh 18 cent mind you they only give you a 18 cent raise that's all you get that is a prime example of a terrible warehouse job i don't even understand why <laughs> i know what you guys are thinking y'all are shocked as hell probably not but the only reason why I continued on and let me mind you I had job offers I was putting in uh, <laughs> I was putting the applications trust me the only reason why I stayed for another two years I was I was about to leave in three years my parents kept telling me to stay at the job because the only thing I could say about about the state newspaper is they have great benefits vacation pay medical and all that they had it full laid out but the only difference is it <laughs> 
the, the benefits don't mean nothing if you're not getting paid well. That's the only, that was my only concern, and I hated that shit. I really did. I had job offers from FedEx Freight. I even had a job offer for Precoat Metals, and that's like a, a metal company to uh, to what you could be like a like a I guess a mechanical operator or whatever. I was damn near about to land that job. They basically gave it to me. They they basically said fill out this application, do the drug test and everything, and we'll, we'll call you for the next steps. And I had to wait on for that, but. I chose not to do that. That was fifteen to twenty-one dollars an hour. I chose not to do it because it might have been too dangerous. They 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 had rotating, um, seven days, maybe twelve days off and on, twelve-hour shifts. Even though I'm doing twelve-hour shift now at a uh, Shutterfly, mind you, Shutterfly is my new job I'm working at. But I'm through the temp agency through a deco, so I'm not really with the Shutterfly um, company just yet. I'm through a deco, which is partnered with Shutterfly. But guys, throughout those years at the state newspaper, basically all we did was insert newspapers and magazines into a feeder that feeds into a machine and it, and it, and it pockets into uh, an actual newspaper. And it came in little big stacks. And I, and I want to say my, my, my first three years, no, no, I want to say not my three years, my first two years, really... Uh, if I want to talk about my experience, sure, I wasn't getting paid shit. <laughs> uh, pe people, every once in a while, people would train and help me out and whatnot and tell me what to do and all that. Uh, the manager, he was, he was pretty decent, but the, the work was just repetitive. You know what I mean? Like sometimes I would be on a stacker stacking the newspapers on the pallet and using the electric pallet jack. Then there's other days where I would rotate and I would actually feed um, newspapers and magazines in the feeder. So I would do that constantly back and forth. It wasn't until my last two years to where they finally, they finally kind of, even though I wasn't really a manager type, they they had me at one place, one well one position and one area, one area only, and that was the stacking area. So I was kind of. A, a person that just managed the whole stacking area basically because I knew all the knowledge after the three years out already and I knew what to do so basically this year <laughs> that's when I got my dollar raise and what's fucked up is like I said 18 cent raise it's not even every single year they they choose to give you 18 cent raise even I guess every two years or so and they have to decide as a company whether or not whether or not they want to give it to you which is fucked up I think I was probably the only one that got a dollar raise and I guess that I guess that was the company's way of saying hey we're sorry that you went through this and the company's getting ready to close down anyway bankruptcy due to COVID-19 and that they were telling me that the company actually is moving to Charlotte, so they're gonna get a facility in Charlotte. They're not gonna be in the Columbia area anymore. So um, what they did was they move into Charlotte. So everything is going digital because hey, the future every single year, technology is building. Um, it's it, this it's not really in demand for printing anymore. So they want to move to digital. So I mean that's there's nothing really there's nothing really they can do about it. And <laughs> I could really care I could really care less, right? Because <laughs> hey, the moment. This is my favorite part. Out of, like, like I said, out of my five years, starting out nine dollars, and then in about two or three years, I went to nine eighteen to nine thirty two. It wasn't until this year, ten dollars and thirty two cent. That that's what I earned for my entire years. Now, guys, you're gonna get a chuckle out of this. Can you believe when they announced the bankruptcy? They said. If you stayed for a, cu a couple of months, they're, they're going to give you basically like unemployment type thing. They're going to be like, they're going to give you w weekly checks for your, for your, for how many years you've been at the, at the, been with the company. And I looked at my sheet for, if, if, if I would have stayed for two more months until the closing date to where they just, to the actual date, which is, I think it, it was June 26th. Not not June, July 26, and then they were gonna lay everybody off. If I would have stayed to that day, the the company would be paying me about three three hundred and and thirty two no no three hundred and twenty five dollars weekly for six years, and it's like what is like a six like a I guess like a six 
six year six year occurrence or whatever they if I would have stayed they would they, they basically would have been paying me money for my years of service but guess what you know what I did I said bump that I was I was trying to leave the company in three years I stayed in I stayed another two years like I said before because my parents that's the only reason and even with, with the Shutterfly job that I'm working now, my parents, it's an hour away. I'm in Columbia. That shit in Fort Mill. You know what I mean? My, my mom was even hesitant about it. She's saying don't do it because it's too far. Um, in Columbia, I, I know jobs are starting to open up right now, but I don't really trust the jobs over here because it. I just don't trust the pay. The pay isn't really good enough. You know what I mean? It's just not great enough. So I took a chance and now I'm getting I'm back to getting weekly paychecks just like I got week weekly paychecks when I was working at Fort Jackson Commissary. My money was stacking up and my money is stacking up now. So my money's looking good guys. It's looking great. Hey soon <laughs> hey I might be able to get an apartment. We we just have to play it by ear and see what goes on. But yeah, I I was really desperate to leave and <laughs> I wanna say I guess back in I guess March, no lie. One of my friends said, hey, you should try try out Shutterfly. I emailed Shutterfly. Not email Shutterfly. I emailed the uh, temp agency that's partnered with it. We emailed back and forth for about a, a couple more weeks. I actually went and visited the facility. And right then and there, when I said I was interested, they sent me paperwork. I filled it out. They sent me uh, fill out your, your direct deposit information. I did all of the paperwork online in the in, in the email and everything bro and it was sent off just like that and just before you know it they had a position for me for third shift so now currently i wake up every every morning around about two o'clock and i have to be be there at the facility at 4 a.m and clock and have to be clocked in and everything but guys i just want to let you know where warehouse jobs they're not bad it depends on what type of warehouse job you have. You have to choose the right company. Some companies don't want to pay you. If don't settle for anything less. If you see a company that's paying, I want to say at least thirteen dollars or less, that's terrible. You can't get get nowhere with that unless if they're gonna give you a raise and they sit they they're they're telling that you're gonna move up in the company. But if they're giving you the runaround then hey they're they're a fucked up company and they're playing with your money they're playing with your time i just want to say this honestly warehouse jobs restaurant it doesn't matter as long as you're bringing in decent money like 14 15 dollars plus and up as long as you're bringing in money and you're able to pay your rent or whatever it shouldn't matter what type of job you get. I don't like those people that judge based on the type of career or job that you have. If nothing, if nothing's really falling through and you have a, a decent job that you're able to get by with, then choose it. There's so many people on here that are that are de degrading warehouse jobs and saying it's terrible. I'm not ashamed at all. Through throughout my career, I've had my ups. With, you know, as far as the state newspaper. Working, working with my dad, the Fort Jackson Commissary, my money was kind of decent, but it wasn't really all of that. But now, for the first time ever, shoot, I mean, I'm, I'm getting paid $14.50. That's, it's okay. It's not great, but it's okay. But for overtime, I'm getting paid, they're paying me $21.75 an hour. That's, that's if I work more than three days. That's awesome. Do you realize how, how how much people would kill to have a job like that? You only work about three days. You 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 get like at least four fifty or close to almost five hundred. If you work four days or more, you're, you're talking about almost about five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred plus, and so on and so forth. If you work more days, that's that's the money that I'm getting it, and I'm getting it weekly. It's not every two weeks. Let me mind you, at the state newspaper, my paychecks. We're dropping down when they when they when they announced the bankruptcy, they cut our hours because because you know that that's that's what they do with the pandemic and all. Every company did it when 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 it when it hit when it got hit and you know nobody was really the revenue wasn't flowing. 
I saw my my money drop from five hundred every two weeks, five hundred and fifty dollars every two weeks. I had to wait every two weeks for five hundred and fifty dollars, and it dropped all the way down.